Jasmine, right over here, right in the middle. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations on the win. Uh, was this the best performance of your career? Because you took out with a really tough opponent and someone that a lot of people were counting you out against. Yeah, I mean, you tell me. I, I'm in there, so I don't know what it looked like. I, I'm looking forward to, to watching this fight. But, yeah, I believe that every, every performance is like my best performance today. I feel like I'm always evolving. I have to be continually evolving. I can't, I can't be plateauing. If, if I want to be going for this belt, I, I got to be growing exponentially each fight. So I, I believe every fight is my, my best performance to date. <laughs> Well, with uh, Kyle Nelson winning earlier and obviously Eamon as well, was that on your mind going into the fight? Like just the, the momentum, like, hey, I got to keep this going for Canada. Man, you could feel it at the fighter hotel. I feel like I could feel it when I when I touched down in the in the country that everyone in Canada, they were ready for this UFC. And I felt the whole country on my back going into that fight and I felt like I had to represent the country it, this this was for us and I know all the other Canadians on that card are feeling the same thing there's a different vibe in the air it's it's different I I don't know knock on wood call me crazy but I want I think Canada's going clean sweep tonight the, yeah. the energy is real yeah, it was excellent. Um, you know, going to the scorecards, I'm sure you were confident you had the victory. Any worry at all? Just, you know, again, you're in Canada. I would assume you're feeling pretty good. I was worried about that first round. You know, she, she got me in that armbar, and I, I was being a little uh, complacent a little bit. I, I, I've been in armbars before, and I figure, you know, I, I let them kind of think they can go a little tighter, and then that's when I pop out. But, uh, but no, I, I went to move a little bit, and she cinched it in a bit more. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, I'm in a little bit of a, a predicament here. I can't, I can't really get out, and she's kind of stuck there, so we kind of were stalemate a bit. I was hoping she was going to really try, but, you know, we had to, uh, we had to just kind of wait the time out on that one. So I was worried about that, that first round. I knew, I knew because of that I would have to win the next two or put her out, you know, but... Um, but yeah, I, I, was a, I was concerned on that first one for sure. You didn't go to American Top Team for this camp. You did your entire camp at home. And I know you had Matthew Jelly as well, who's uh, you know, just outstanding in what he does. Uh, what do you think that says about your team and just the fact that you, know, you have your best performance and you didn't have to go anywhere else. You have it right at home. We have everything in Canada. You know, I, I decided, <laughs> well, I mean, my team and I, we, it's not just me behind this. It's, it's my team. We have the best team in the world. We have a, a community. We got a ton of up-and-coming fighters. But, but um, yeah, we figured this fight's in Canada. Let's keep it in Canada. We brought some girls in from, from all over. Some girls come from BC. Some girls, Alberta. I, I did some traveling a little bit outside of Toronto. And I got, I got a ton of looks. I've got... I, I was I was able to uh, to work with these girls and I, I feel like the whole country really came together for me. They knew how important that that this opportunity was, and they really came together and helped me prepare for this. I, I can't thank the the people enough. It, the the girls, the guys, it, everyone. They, it, I'm I'm blessed to have the this country behind me and the the people are so great here. We're coming up to almost a year, your fight against Natalia Silva, and uh, you look, like I said, the hammer tonight, for sure, over a really good opponent, and someone in Miranda Maverick that some people feel is like is somewhat of a dark horse in the, in the division. Have you been able to kind of look at the improvements you've made since that fight and just how different you looked in the octagon tonight? Yeah, you know, after each fight, I, I always go back and uh, I look at the mistakes that I've made. I, I look at how somebody is going to watch that fight and, and beat me, how, how they would want to beat me. And so, you know, my, my team and I, we, we really put it all together and, and we, we try to fill those holes, man. We, we don't leave, we don't just think we're good enough. We're, we're always, always trying to perfect and, and make things better and, and improve from our, from our last, the last data that we get. And just last one for me, uh, Miranda's ranked number 15, uh, sort of looking ahead here, you got Tracy Cortez, Andrea Lee's. Andrea Lee seemed like a fight that would make sense next. Is that a fight you'd want? You know, I've got, I've gotten this question a couple times already. Like what's next? What's next? I was so zoned in on this fight that I don't even know who's where or, or what I'm, I was, I was locked and loaded on this. And then I, I would figure 
let's see what doors up op the what opportunities open themselves up after this fight so you know after each fight i always take a couple days and chill i i put MMA out of my mind for three days and then I go back. My coaches are all already talking, who's next, what's the, what's the plan, blah, blah, blah. So I leave that all up, up to them and uh, we'll see. I don't know yet. Jasmine Ray, Ray yes. here. Um, congrats on the win as well. Thank you. Expectations versus reality. I know you've been waiting for this moment for a long time, fighting in front of Canadian fans in the UFC. How did this live up to what you had in your mind? Oh, I... I wish that everyone can feel how I feel right now. It was an honor to, to represent Canada. And I felt like going in there, I had Canada on my back. And this was a tough fight. I know she's number 15 in the world, you know. But I knew I had to be a dog and I had to represent the country. And, you know, she wasn't coming in here and taking, taking this, you know, like this is ours. This is ours. You know, you've said a few times, you're here for a good time, not for a long time. In terms of your fighting career, what is a good time for you? What are you kind of looking for overall in types of fights? This, baby, you know? I, ideally, this again in Toronto. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This, the hype. You know, I got to tell you, my hotel room, I don't know. The, the stars are aligning for, it, for this week for me. I walk into my hotel room. I have the most gorgeous view in the world. Over here on the water, I have the boats here. I've got the, the uh, forest. I can see the mountains. There's birds. There's people um, rowing. It's unbelievable, breathtaking view. And I would just sit there. I'd set up the chair and just sit there. I would eat my meals. Or, or when I'm cutting away, not eating meals, I'm just sitting back and just enjoying the view and, and feeling how grateful and blessed that I am, that, that I have the opportunity to be able to, to do this, to look out at the, the beautiful scenery, to travel. This is my job, to travel, and th this is the scenery I have. And then in the evening, I get to go scrap some broad in the cage. You know what I mean? Like, how much of an amazing life do I get to live? So I'm, I'm just on top of the world. I'm, I'm so blessed. I'm so fortunate. And I, uh, I just, you know, follow your dreams and you could be doing the same shit. <laughs> Very cool. And last one for me. There was a, a clip that came out earlier, earlier this week. I think it was like a sports betting site giving a prediction of your fight versus Miranda. And she responded to it. A few fighters responded to it saying they don't like it when sites tag them. And I mean, I think most people uh, who do interviews and who do media for a while know to just tag the positive stuff. But does that kind of stuff bother you uh, personally? No, I love. I I like it, man. Take me in, everything. I don't. I don't care. It, you know that the we're doing it for the fans, anyways. If they're loving or they're hating, it, at least they're watching, right? Does it does it really matter? But I I don't know. Tag me. I like when people tell me tell me things like, oh, you made you are the underdog. You made me a bunch of money and stuff. That, that makes me happy. The only thing I don't like is people will say when the one fight I lost. Oh, I, I lost money on your fight. Can you e transfer me? I'm like, no, don't bet on me, man. I bet you're making more money than I am. <laughs> at, at least they predicted you were going to win. Yeah, exactly. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Hey, one for me. Um, just seeing the results so far from the Canadians, what do you think this says about the kind of strength in Canadian fighters and what does it say about the fighting community in Canada? Dude, we got a hotbed, man. Don't count the Canadians out. We're uh, we're here to scrap. We're a bunch of a bunch of tough cookies, and uh, I I think that uh, I think people underestimate Canada. Oh, Canadians are nice. <laughs> you know, I guess we're nice until we're in there. <laughs> Thank you, guys.